Okay, in this video, we will be discussing the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So, reminder, the Pythagorean theorem says that in a right triangle, that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And remember, when we say c squared, we are talking about the hypotenuse, the longest side that is across from that 90 degree angle. And the a squared and the b squared are the two legs. So this should look familiar. What we're going to talk about now is what happens if you don't have a right triangle? What happens to that? So imagine that I'm going to take this right angle and I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, so I squish that down. You see that little finger squishing that down. So now I made this angle wider. Okay, so think about what happens in a door, right? If I make if I open that angle up wider, then that door opening becomes larger. Okay, so now instead of this c squared being equal to a squared plus b squared, wouldn't it make sense that this side is going to be larger than that? So c squared is going to be larger than the a squared plus b squared. So that's if this is obtuse, okay, larger than 90 degrees. Okay, now, backing up, if I go back to that 90 degree angle, and instead of making it larger, I make it smaller. Okay, so now I've pushed it back up. So now this is smaller than 90 degrees. So this would be an acute triangle. Then this side across from it is also going to be smaller than that original hypotenuse was. All right, so now we're gonna have C squared is smaller than the a squared plus b squared. Okay, so now let's apply this. So we can use this to classify triangles just by the side lengths. So we're going to do two things in these problems. We're going to go back to from our last unit on um, what are the possible lengths of triangles. Remember the two sides have to add up to be greater than the third side. So first we're going to see make sure that it is a triangle. Then we're going to classify the triangle as acute right or obtuse. So in this first one, remember if we have all three side lengths, take those two smaller sides and make sure that they are bigger and the sum is bigger than the third side and that is true. All right, so then now we can do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So on these, your c squared is always your largest side. So, and it might help you to put the c squared on the left side first and see what's happening here in between. I'm not going to put equals or less than or greater than because we don't know yet. But the a squared plus b squared will go on the right hand side. All right, so we're going to have 169 and then this is 25 and this is 144. And so 25 plus 144 equals 169. So these are equal. So we know that this is a right triangle. And if you remember your Pythagorean triples, you would recognize the 5, 12, 13. All right, so now let's do this again. And since this one is a square root, let's go ahead and get the decimal approximation so we can figure out if that's going to be a triangle or not. So these are the two smaller sides. So 3.46 plus 6 needs to be greater than 10. So obviously that's not going to be bigger, so this is not even a triangle. So there's no need to go any further. I can't classify a triangle if it's not even a triangle. All right, same idea here. Square root of 8 is going to be approximately 2.83. So we're going to do that plus 4 and make sure it's greater than 6. And yes, that'll be greater than 6. Just a little bit over, but good enough. So that is a triangle. So now we can do the Pythagorean theorem. And I'm going to put the c squared on the left, though. So 6 is my largest side, so 6 squared. And then I don't know. And we're going to do the square root of 8 squared. Notice that I'm not using the approximation in the Pythagorean theorem part. Okay, because we want exact answers. 
So remember, square root of 8 squared, the square and the square root cancel. So that's just going to be 8 and then plus 16. <clears throat> so that's going to be 24. So our c squared is larger than our a squared plus b squared. So that must mean that this is obtuse. All right, and then our last one, two smallest sides, 20 plus 21, is that larger than 28? Absolutely. <clears throat> so we know that's a triangle. And then my 28 is my C, is C so I'm going to do 28 squared, and then 20 plus 21 squared. All right, so 28 squared is 784, Then we have... 400 <clears throat> plus 441. So if I add those together, I'm going to get 841, which is larger than 784. So our C squared is now smaller, which means that our triangle is acute.